Hi, it's Stephla here. Um, today we're just going to be talking about some of the uh, ailments under the letter B. So one of them that comes to mind uh, is bowel problems. So generally with bowel problems there's either constipation or diarrhea. Now constipation can make you feel quite ill as the toxins build up in the system. So some of the reasons why you can get constipated are health conditions such as diverticulitis, uh, hemorrhoids, um, inadequate fibre in your diet, uh, not enough water, not enough exercise, stress because it causes all of the intestines to um, go into spasm, so the motility of the gut isn't working adequately. And without that motility of the gut, um, hydrochloric acid levels can be reduced and enzyme activity so uh, the food can ferment and that can lead to other issues such as bloating. Um, you want to ensure that you have a, a high fibre diet and you have uh, pre and probiotics in your diet such as your flax seeds, your chai um, uh, and adequate uh, fruit and vegetables as well. Um, with the other condition, uh, diarrhea, um, having a, a low bland diet uh, is, is a good idea. Uh, things like white rice and banana are helpful. And obviously if that diarrhea continues then you need to be looking at the underlying causes. Um, that could be anything from a gut infection to uh, parasites. Um, um, and even stress. Stress can lead to things like um, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, the other one is bladder infections. 95% um, of bladder infections can be caused by E. coli. Um, uh, things like apple cider vinegar and cranberry will actually acidify the urine and make it an unfavourable uh, environment for bacteria to thrive. Um, you should also avoid irritants when you're having issues with your bladder, such as coffee, tea um, and spices, and obviously drink plenty of water to flush out those toxins. Um, the other one is blood pressure. Now, blood pressure, the ideal is around 120 and 180, but there can be variations anywhere from 100 to 140, um, and the lower diastolic 60 to 95. Um, things like magnesium, vitamin C, coenzyme Q10 and arginine to open up the blood, blood vessels are useful. Um, and some of the foods such as cucumber and parsley are, di are natural diuretics. So they help to remove excess um, fluid in the body. Uh, for low blood pressure, um, that's anything below 100 over 60. Um, one of the nutrients that's really important is B5. Uh, B5 is required for the adrenal glands to work effectively. So if your adrenal glands are under functioning, um, this could be one of the reasons why, um, because your adrenals control your salt and water. And, and you could be losing lots of salt and water during a stressful time. Um, so it is prudent to take some sea salt um, when you're under that type of stress. Okay, well, we'll, next time we'll be talking about foods under the letter C. Okay, thanks, bye.